I love uh, that writing is such a private space for me to um, express how I feel. I can take the time to think about what I want to share and what I want to say in my writing. I think that's why I appreciate writing as my favorite creative outlet, especially when um, I'm not paying attention to the standards of writing, particularly around grammar. I don't, I don't believe any of those things shape writing too much. I think that's where I have fun with writing the most, um, when there are no rules around how I express myself. I dealt actually with a lot of turmoil at home in my younger years and um, in, 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 in trying to express myself and expressing myself. You know, because of all of these standards, I hate them, and rules about how, you know, people should express themselves, um, that complicated and stifled my ability to like express my humanity as a kid. I think that's a really dangerous, popular um, rhetoric in our culture is that, you know, like, we have to express ourselves through these very fine rules that no one ever follows completely. And we all kind of sort of suffer in a way um, when we don't get to express ourselves fully. And I mean, these rules are silly, right? Because um, who is it ever harming um, when we get to express the fullness of our joy, the fullness of, um, of, of the things that we're attracted to and, and like, whether it's a variety of different colors or, um, whether it's uh, the kind of clothes you wanna wear. I think all of those things are really important for people to freely choose for themselves, no matter who they are. I had queer <laughs> paraphernalia when I was 13 years old and it's called paraphernalia. I call it paraphernalia because it wasn't allowed in the house. <laughs> so like I had this rainbow belt um, that I bought off the street. It was just colorful and gay and I loved it and I was so proud of it and I wanted to wear it because I wanted people to know that I was queer and I wanted to be loved for it. I, I thought that I had a really nice sense of style if I only just got the chance to express myself at home. And so like, yeah, my dream was just to be able to like express myself. I remember prom, my mom wanted me to wear like a tux and like all this stuff and I was like, I'm not wearing a tux and all that stuff. I bought these black pair of skinny jeans. Black is my favorite color. And um, I ripped them up. Um, there was this really dope graphic shirt that I bought and I cut out the graphic. I ripped the hole in my jean and I sewed the graphic in my jean. Um, and like I did that in like little patches. I had this vest and um, my ass looked really nice. My butt looked really nice. It was like, amazing and I went to the prom and um, I had so much fun and, and my dream uh, came true. I was actually able to express myself at least as close as possible to what I wanted to express at the prom and it was so fun and thank you mom for letting me go to the prom. I really needed that. Knowing what I know now, if I can go back and tell myself something uh, at that age, I wouldn't tell myself anything at all. I think I handled it well.